Welcome to the Art Liddy channel. Today I'm going to show you very quickly how to fold a dart airplane right here. And this is just a very base model airplane paper airplane flyer. You can go ahead and adjust this and also add to this if you'd like and to alter it to make it fly the way you would like. But it's just the base model of making this flyer. So the first step is to take a piece of eight and a half by 11 paper, and I'm using, actually you can use any size paper, but what I'm using for my demonstration today is gonna be eight and a half by 11. And you're gonna take the two long ends of the paper and fold that together. Now when you make your flyers, it's important that these are exactly together. The fold will become the line of symmetry. So I wanna make sure both ends are exactly together before I go ahead and crease my folds. Open it up, and this now will become the line of symmetry. So whatever's on this side has to be identical to this side. I'm gonna now bring the top edge directly to my line of symmetry. So I'm gonna take my corner, and I'm also gonna take my finger right here on the line of symmetry, and I'm gonna support the paper at the top as I fold over. And I don't want this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this enlarge so you can see it. I do not want this to go beyond the line of symmetry at all. It's real important that it's exactly to that line of symmetry. And you can see this, this edge is now going to line up perfect with the line of symmetry, which is my fold. So I've adjusted it a little bit at the top and moved it right exactly to the line of symmetry. Now I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And this is going to come exactly to this point here and I do not want to overextend. This would be overextending it. And I want this to line up perfect with the bottom edge here. Okay, this is exactly touching right here. And now I'm bringing my fold and you can press down the fold so it's perfect. It now should look like almost like the roof of a house. This forms a right angle right here. So if you're gonna measure angles, that's a perfect right angle. Now I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna bring this side into the line of symmetry as well. I'm gonna hold, let me bring it in closer. I'm gonna hold the tip so that you can see how I'm doing this, so that I don't go past that triangle, that tip that corner, and I'm gonna fold this right to my line of symmetry. Right there to a point. It's like a needle nose, and this will be the nose of the plane. Let me bring it down now so you can see. I'm lining this up directly onto the fold, which is the line of symmetry. I don't wanna go over that. Now what happens at the bottom is there's gonna be a little straight line here at the bottom. Now I'm gonna do the same on the other side, bringing this in exactly. Lined up perfect. And so it's gonna form an exact point. Get it crispy. right there, and these are meeting exactly perfect here in the center, and then my point is a real tiny, like a needle point right there. The next step is to take both, I'm gonna bring this long side to this side. I'm gonna fold it in half right on my line of symmetry, matching up the sides, And then I'm gonna take my ruler, press down just so it's perfectly crisp and flattened out as flat as I can make it. Inside are the folds, they're tucked in. 
Now I'm gonna fold, nice needle point here. Now I'm gonna fold the wings. So this will become the nose of the plane. This thickness here will be the body. And then my wings, I'm gonna fold one down here. And then I'll fold the opposite. I wanna make sure that the wing line, the fold line is parallel with the body of my plane. So if you imagine, this is the long body of your plane, right here. I'm just gonna come up, probably about an inch, inch and a half. Well, probably about an inch, and this is gonna fold over, okay? So I'm gonna just bring this down, and I want it to be these two lines parallel. I want this fold line to be parallel with this line here, meaning equal distance apart. Double check that it is parallel and crease it. I'm gonna press my crease. Flip the plane over and I'm gonna do the same on this wing, folding the wing down. And you can see where I went past it. You wanna line this wing up with the same fold on this side. You want the wings, see, to be the same distance right here. I'm pressing, now I'm gonna crease down. I'm gonna crease on this side. Now my plane, the wings are kind of flattened here. I'm just going to hold the body of the plane. I'm just gonna bring the wings out straight. Here's the body of my plane here. And here's the wings. Now when I fly my plane, this is going to just come apart here. So if we put a little bit of tape on our plane, and I'm just using a piece of masking tape here so you can see it. I'm just gonna put a small one at the top here to hold these two together. And then I'm gonna put one right here to hold the back end together so the back doesn't come apart. Now I wanna make sure my wings are forming a right angle to the body. I want these to be straight. And then this forms a right angle here. So this is flat. And there's the plane. And now, that's ready to fly. If you fold up this, these here, and this is where you can design your own, you can design different ways of flying it and adjusting and altering your plane. But this is the base model of how to fold a dart plane. Hope you enjoy the video and be sure to subscribe.